Whitlock and Wiley joined now by Fox NBA analyst Jim Jackson. Time now for a big story. Let's move to Kevin Durant, who sat down with our good buddy Chris Haynes from Yahoo Sports for an exclusive interview. The superstar's first public comment since his departure from Golden State, Durant talked about pretty much everything, including pushing back hard when asked if he blamed the Warriors for his Achilles injury, saying, quote, hell no. How can you blame the Warriors? Hell no. I heard the Warriors pressured me into getting back. Nobody never said a word to me during rehab. As I was coming back, it was only me and director of sports medicine and performance, Rick uh, Celebrini, working out every day. Right when the series started, I targeted game five. Hell no. It just happened. It's basketball. Basketball happens. Nobody was responsible for it. It was just the game. We just need to move on from that bleep because... I'm going to be playing. I'm going to be back playing. All right, question here is, you think KD is trying to avoid conflict with the Warriors, or is he keeping it at 100? Oh, I think he's keeping it 100. Uh, why would Mr. Gunsmoke get gun shy all of a sudden mm -hmm. with this situation? I know some people will say, well, Achilles injury, something catastrophic like that can really humble you, put you in a different mindset. But I think what happened is his emotions finally subsided, he was able to clearly look at exactly what happened. And he said, let me take responsibility. And that same responsibility is going to fuel him through this rehab process, which is going to be rigorous. And more importantly, it's going to fuel him when he's back on that court instead of taking lateral steps, looking at the Warriors or looking behind him or looking in the rearview mirror saying, they didn't tell me this, they didn't tell me that. Because in reality, no matter what they tell you, you make the ultimate decision as the yeah. athlete. So I take it as he's still being 100. I, and I take it a step further with that. In today's world where it's easy to blame and place blame, especially with a lot of young guys, it's, well, coach made me do this, or it was the management or my agent. You don't take self-responsibility. And I really think KD set himself up to say, listen, I'm going to work hard to get back. I know this is what you're telling me. If I do A, B, C, and D, I'm able to play in the playoffs in the championship series. I want to get myself back in there. Now, when the injury happened, I'm sure he questioned a little bit. Should he have pulled back? But like you talked about, Marcellus, as time elapsed, he looked back at him and said, it's not their fault. Mm. It was a decision I chose <clears throat> to make. So now I like the fact that he's not placing the blame <clears throat> on the ownership, right. on the training staff. He said, no, it was on me. I wanted to come back. I think that the truth is very fluid. And so I think six weeks ago when this first happened, his truth at that time was like, damn, they talked me into this. And then, like most mature people that self-evaluate, mm -hmm. he started realizing, no, no, no. It's on me. It's on me. Yep. And I love it. I respect it. I, 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 I know there are some people who, like, question and they go back to what he said in the moment or maybe privately back then. But again, people evolve and people get greater awareness over time, and KD's done that. And the other thing I think is the Warriors, very smartly, and I, I mocked them at the time, but it was smart. They hit this dude with a lot of love post <laughs> yeah. this deal. Right, right. We, we building statues, <clears throat> we retiring jerseys, <laughs> uh, yeah. Steph is coming to see you, and come up, leave in China or whatever to come to see you. Yep. They've hit this guy with so much love. How can you not embrace that at some point unless you're just a negative person and KD's not a negative person? So I believe you. Yeah, I, I love how you talk about the evolution. Let's take it on a micro level. Did you study psychology at Ball State? Sound no. like it. No. <laughs> damn it. You damn near nailed the seven stages of grief, which I have here. Shock and disbelief is stage one. Denial, two. Pain, three. Anger's next, bargaining, depression, then finally acceptance and hope. What you saw was when he was walking like this and even Stephen was trying to get his attention, he was in shock. He mm -hmm. couldn't believe. This happened to me. And sometimes as an athlete, you think you become greater than the norm, greater than what could happen to anybody. We're all out there playing a sport that is, that is not only fragile to our bodies, mm -hmm. but it's fickle to your game. And I think he's finally evolved to, you know what? I got to accept this, and I got to have hope going forward. I think a lot of times some people say, oh, nah, he's, he's in the stage where he's bargaining. Like, they did it. No, I did it. And you go back and forth behind closed doors. But him finally publicly 
acknowledging what happened, acknowledging his blame and responsibility, tells me that he's looking forward in the right way. And, and this is different, too, because we can compare it a lot to what happened with Kawhi, okay, in regards to his injury, coming back and getting re-injured, and probably the diagnosis that happened within the Spurs wasn't as accurate. Mm -hmm. I remember I played with Chris Webber when he was in Sacramento. They diagnosed his knee as one thing, but it was a deteriorating knee, okay? And they went out and misdiagnosed it. He came back and injured himself more. So what I say right now about Golden State and what I know about the organization is that they took every precaution to make sure that KD understood the logistics of what was going on and that he made the decision that he wanted to make. So I think in that, as, in that instance, Golden State protected themselves in saying, okay, here's where you're at today. We want to make sure that you make the right decision. If you come back, you come back. If you don't, we get it. Mm. But KD, at the end of the day, and like you talked about the shock and all, mm. as an athlete, when you get hurt, you never think it's going to happen to you. <laughs> exactly. You never think, especially something like this where it's season ending, okay? But then as you get a chance to step back and go through the file in your head and say, you know, I put myself in a situation oh. where I really did want to come.